It's 6.05. The D.C. Council is considering new enforcement measures for people who break traffic laws. Today, a district council committee will hold a hearing into expanding booting and impoundment access. Council member Mary Che introduced the legislation that would give the district's Department of Public Works the authority to enter private commercial garages and parking lots. This would allow crews to boot vehicles that avoid enforcement. The D.C. Council also took action on two bills aimed to improve road safety. One would fine food delivery drivers for double parking. The other would ban most right turns at red lights. Juliana Valencia is live outside the Wilson building with more details. Juliana, good morning. Good morning. Let's start with that temporary legislation that the D.C. Council passed that would be allowed to fine food delivery drivers for blocking traffic. Now, this is an effort to stop bike lanes from being blocked, crosswalks from being blocked, and this would allow the Department for Higher Vehicles to be able to give citation to food delivery drivers. Right now, they are only allowed to find passenger carrying vehicles blocking traffic like Ubers or taxis. Now, the fines would not apply to delivery services like UPS or FedEx. And reaction to this measure, it's mixed. I think that there are other creative solutions to find that don't put the burden on the average worker. Generally, you pose against fines for workers. However, I understand uh, the need to keep some areas safe. So I don't know if there's a way to just make it by zones, just the main streets. The D.C. Council also passed the Safer Streets legislation. It would eliminate right turns at red lights at most intersections. It would still allow the Department of Transportation to allow right turns at red lights where they find it will improve safety and cyclists would able to be still able to ride through stop signs or through stop lights where it seems safe to do so. But this law would not take effect until 2025. Back to you. All right, Juliana, thank you.